Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast Special Edition Series where I go over every 2023 NCAA Men's College Basketball Conference Tournament. Um, This one is going to be the SWAC Tournament, which will be the 24th of 32 shows. This tournament will be held at the Bartow Arena in Birmingham, Alabama. Um, uh, we're going to go over um, the seating for this tournament. Um, your one seed, Alcorn State, 18-12 and 12 overall, 15-3 and three in conference play. Your two seed, Grambling State, 22-8 and eight overall, 15-3 in conference play. Um, your three seed, Jackson State, 13 and 18 overall, 12 and 6 in conference play. Your four seed, Southern, 15 and 16 overall, 11 and 7 in conference play. Your five seed, Alabama AM, 14 and 17 overall, 10 and 8 in conference play. Your six seed is Prairie View AM, 13 and 18 overall, 9 and 9 in conference play. Your 17, um, uh, your 17 is Bethune Cookman, 12 and 19 overall, 8 and 10 in conference play. Your 8 seed, Texas Southern, 11 and 20 overall, 7 and 11 in conference play. Uh, do not qualify Alabama State, 8 and 23 overall, 6 and 12 in conference play. Arkansas Pine Bluff, 10 and 21 overall, 6 and 12 in conference play. Florida A&M, 7 and 22 overall, 5 and 13 in conference play. And Mississippi Valley State, 5 and 27 overall, 4 and 14 in conference play. So let's get to it. Um, it all begins Wednesday, March 8th, the quarterfinals. Um, the quarterfinals will be both the 8th and the 9th. The semifinals will be on March 10th. Championship game Saturday, March 11th on ESPNU at 4.30 Central, 5.30 Eastern. So 7 seed Bethune-Cookman, 2 seed Grambling. Um, Bethune-Cookman, um, 5 guys averaging double digits a game, led by Zion Harmon. And Grambling, it's actually pretty good this year. Um, 3 guys averaging double figures a game, led by Cameron Christian. Nearly averaging 13 a game. I project Grambling 9.8, total 136 and 720. So, therefore, I have Grambling advancing. Second of four quarterfinal games and second of two on March 8th, the Wednesday. 18, Texas Southern, one seed, Alcorn State. Uh, Texas Southern, um, four guys averaging double figures, led by um, John Walker to third. Um, and Alcorn State who's been riding high lately. Four guys averaging double figures a game, led by Dominic Bruton at 12 a game. I project Alcorn 7.2, total 140 and 13 20th, so therefore I have Alcorn advancing. Third of four quarterfinal games, first of two on Thursday, March 9th, 6 seed Prairie View A&M and 3 seed Jackson State. Prairie View, um, two guys averaging double figures, led by Will Douglas at 14.8 a game. Um, Jackson State, um... Pretty all-around team. Uh, three guys averaging double figures a game, led by Colty Young. I project a pick them in 138 and a fifth. So, if it's a pick them, I usually go um, with my gut or um, best player. And best player is Prairie View's Will Douglas. So I'm going to do Prairie View as an upset over Jackson State in the quarterfinals. And the fourth of four quarterfinal games, second of two on Thursday, March 9th, five seed Alabama and M, four seed Southern. Um, Bama A&M. Um, so. Um. So, um, Bama am a little better than I thought they'd be this year in conference play. Um, three guys averaging double figures a game led by Garrett Hicks. And then Southern's usually a preannual team in this league. Two guys averaging double figures led by Brian Whitley at 11 and a half a game. I have Southern 8.7 over 140 and three tenths. Yeah, 140 and three tenths, so... I'm going to have Southern advancing. All right, the semifinals, two games, Friday, March 10th, four-seed Southern, 
one seed Alcorn State. Um, we talked about Southern with Whitley and Bryson Eaton and Etienne and then Alcorn State. Um, talk about Brute and they have Jeremiah Kendall, um, Byron Joshua, Keandre Montgomery. Um, good group of guys for a a SWAC team. From a balance standpoint, I project Alcorn State only 2.7 over Southern. So I have Alcorn State advancing in the second of two semifinal games. 6 seed Prairie View and M2 seed Grambling. Um, we talked about Prairie View with Douglas. And they also have another decent player in Yuza Rosses. But Grambling, I just like the Grambling team a lot in this conference. Very deep. Led by Cameron Christian, Christian and Carte are a Gordon. Um, I project Grambling 6.8 over Prairie View, so I have Grambling advancing. And in the championship game, Saturday, March 11th, 5.30 Eastern, 4.30 Central on ESPN. You have 2C Grambling, 1C Alcorn State. We have a Christian Gordon and um, Sean Darius Cowart on one side. And then Alcorn, we talked about their guys with Bruton, Kendall, Joshua, and Montgomery. Um. I think this Grambling team is arguably better. And Christian might be the best guy on the court. I project Grambling 0.7 over Alcorn. So, two seed winning the SWAC tournament here. So, your 2023 SWAC tournament winner, the Grambling State Tigers, who have been to the tournament a few times over the past several seasons. Um... So, Grambling will probably be a 16 seed. The question is Dayton or not Dayton. At gunpoint, probably Dayton. Um, Alcorn State will probably be a CBI team. Southern, I think, could potentially go too. And I don't see any other teams potentially going to uh, these postseason tournaments, though. Um, And now, odds for the SWAC tournament. Um, so, Grambling's plus 110, Alcorn's plus 360, Southern 6 to 1, Prairie View's 850, Jackson State's 12 to 1, Texas Southern 13 to 1, Alabama and M 18 to 1, and Bethune's 50. The value play is Prairie View at 850. I have them in the semis. I think they're a deep team. So, Prairie View at 850 would be my value play to win the SWAC tournament. All right, so there you have it for the SWAC tournament. This was a short one because only th- uh, three rounds, eight teams. Next up is going to be a long one, Conference USA.